So let's look at the BCG matrix. <clears throat> the BCG matrix has two elements. On the x-axis, which is on the horizontal axis, you see the market share that ranges from low to high. On the vertical axis, you see market growth or market potential from low to high. If you are looking at the dog, which is under-established and sub-optimal opportunity, where your business is dabbling in an area which has got low market growth and low market share. If you are in that sort of an environment, you would be considering to revamp your business or to have an exit strategy. So if you are buying into a new business that could be classified as a dog, you should really consider your options and maybe you should look at some other business and not the venture that you're currently looking at. So this matrix is very, very vital, absolutely vital, whether you are entering into a business or you're planning an exit strategy or you are in a growth potential stage, this matrix is going to find, help you find the solution. If you are at the question mark category, which is low market share and high market growth, it is uncertain. You are considering should you divest and sell the business and exit when you're at the top of the game or should you reinvest and push from that quadrant into the star category where the business could turn around to be in a high market potential and enjoying a high market share. So which classifies that business as well established and the opportunity is great. No business is going to stay at the star level for a long time. Sooner or later, it's going to drop in market share and market growth. If you do drop in your market growth and still continue to enjoy high market share, then it's classified as a cow. So if you are able to milk the opportunity, running a well-established business with limited opportunity, it's probably time to look at your options available in terms of exiting or why not go into a franchise model. A lot of businesses do enter into a franchise model. At that stage, it's worthwhile considering streamlining your business process, identifying what opportunities exist in the market, how could we break it into smaller manageable business units, which is going to be attractive to small business owners, repackage it, market it, promote it, provide the support services so customers could buy those businesses from you and keep running. If your business is transitioning from a star to a cow, where you could milk the opportunity potentially because it's coming from a high market potential and a high market share, you are entering a phase where the market share is high and the market potential is low. That could be an ideal time for a business to exit or for a business to redefine itself and find a franchise model. A lot of small business owners have done this successfully, have established a business, and when it enters into a certain phase, they exit the business directly or through a franchise model. The more you streamline your business planning, the more you emphasis on business process and streamline these processes, you're going to be able to find it easy to sell your business or branch into a franchise model. So BCG matrix is very critical. It gives you a lot of information based on the market factors and your own individual business performance. Hence, we strongly recommend that you apply this when you're thinking of your strategy and your business planning. Let's summarize by saying that we are expounding the BCG matrix. This model can be used for business planning and strategy, time to entry or exit in or out of the market, and selection of your business structure, whether you want to go with the sole trader model or a franchise. You could plan on your investment and divestment strategy and your timing based on this model, and review on your funds employed. If you are enjoying ROVs greater than 20%, that's great. If you are working at a 5 to 12%, you've got to start wondering why do you bother doing what you're doing. <laughs>